Okay, let's talk about the Indiana Core Elementary Education Generalist Assessment. So quite a title here and if you're watching this video I assume you are preparing for this particular assessment so you can teach elementary education in the state of Indiana. So um, that's excellent. My name is John and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a math practice problem here. Um, for the level of math that you're definitely going to want to know for this particular uh, exam. A little bit about myself, I am the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm a middle and high school math teacher, even top beyond. Uh, but I definitely know what it's like to take certification exams uh, and even like even for the math certification exams to teach at the high school level you know I have a degree in math and a master's degree you still have to work I mean and review these exams are not easy so you you want to go in you know as prepared as possible so with that being said if you're um, a little apprehensive or you're looking for a great way to prepare uh, for the math uh, subtest the math section for this exam um, I actually have a uh, math prep course for the Indiana Core Elementary Education Generalist Assessment. I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video if that's something that might interest you. But I got a little pop quiz here <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and actually explain the problem and solve the problem. But I'm going to give you a chance to kind of test your abilities. So here it is. Okay, so you're looking at a circle. Okay, I got some formulas there. And I want to know what's the distance halfway around the circle okay so what's the distance halfway around the circle so um, the information given here uh, is enough to determine that answer so you might want to pause the video and go ahead and give it a whirl and of course I'm gonna uh, go through it okay so hopefully you, you found this pretty easy but this is um, uh, just an example of the type of math that you're going to want to be able to uh, know and, and be comfortable with uh, for this particular exam. So uh, on the Indiana Core Elementary Education Generalist Assessment, you know, you're pretty much going to want to, you know, be very comfortable with high school algebra, geometry, you know, and basic number sense, uh, arithmetic kind of concepts. That's a pretty general description, but, you, you know, a lot of elementary teachers think, oh, I'm only teaching at the elementary level, so I just need to know things like fractions, decimals, place value, and you definitely need to know that. But in these uh, uh, certification exams, you, you know, you actually, you know, if you weren't aware, you haven't taken a look at specifically what's on exam, you definitely need to know more than, than just that. Because, you know, at the elementary level, you are introducing you know, geometry concepts, algebra concepts, you know, um, you definitely are, just so you don't know. I mean, even let's just, I mean, not to go off on a quick tangent here, but I will. So if I said box plus three equals five, this is something you might see in, the, I don't know, first or second grade, right? And the students looking at this problem, they're saying, mm, okay, yeah, I put a two in here to make this true. Well, this is algebra. We're talking about an equation here. This box is just a, a variable you can got you could have just said x plus 3 is equal to 5 and you're we're trying to figure out what's the value of this variable to make this true so again you're going to have to know more than just kind of basic math to do too well okay all right so you probably already know that but let's get back to the problem all right so halfway around the circle okay so what does that mean well i want to know here's halfway around a circle well the total distance around a circle is called the what well, that's called the circumference, okay? So I'm interested in the circumference. So if I can find the circumference of the circle, okay, then I can, uh, the, and the circumference of the total distance around the circle, then I can just take half of that, and that'll give me my answer. So I gave you this other formula. This is the area of a circle uh, formula, just to kind of, well, I guess maybe uh, confuse you. <laughs> you know, we, again, remember on, uh, and I can't, I, I don't know off the top of my head, um, at the, in this moment, whether this exam has a formula sheet, you could very well have it, but typically a lot of exams, you'll have a formula sheet, but that's great. You have a bunch of formulas, but if you don't know what they are or how to apply them, they're not really going to you know, serve you. So hopefully you, you identify that you need to use this formula, the circumference of a circle. So let's go ahead and find the circumference of the circle, and then we'll go ahead and answer the question. So the circumference of the circle is going to be 2 times pi, that's what this little symbol is here, and pi 
it looks like this okay that's a Greek alphabet and it's approximately equal to 3.14 but oftentimes and in this particular problem we can just leave our answer in terms of pi so if you uh, converted this symbol into 3.14 and actually this is a what we call an irrational number this number goes on and on and on and on that's fine too so either way you'll be able to see if you've uh, done it uh, correctly so it's, the circumference is going to be equal to 2 pi r and r so that's 2 pi r is the radius okay so the radius of the circle is right here the radius is half of the diameter and the diameter you can kind of think of the width of the circle and the radius emanates from the center of the circle okay and in this case it's three inches so we'll just go ahead and put three and now we can go ahead and just calculate the circumference so two times pi times three is going to be six pi now the unit of measure here is inches so we need to put that in inches so that so the um, entire distance around this circle again its circumference is six pi inches now pi let's just use a rough approximation of three okay because it's all 3.14 let's just call it three and that's a real rough approximation so you can see here it's approximately 18 inches okay um, it's actually a bit more than that because you know I round it off but you can kind of get the general idea of here now let's go back to the problem so if I want to know what is halfway around a circle well I got to take half of the circumference so I just can take this and divide it by 2 and you get 3 pi inches that is the most exact answer and oftentimes um, uh, in multiple choice uh, uh, scenarios which you very well could see this and I believe probably I, I, again forgive me I don't know if remember off the top of my head but I believe most of the questions for this particular exam are multiple choice um, you're gonna be you know if you see your answer in this form you gotta you know and if you convert it to decimal form then you need to be able to see that this is an equivalent equ equivalent answer okay so again you know a, a considerable amount of of high school algebra and geometry that you're going to, uh, to need to know uh, for this particular exam so you don't want to go into go into uh, and sit for the core elementary uh, generalist assessment education I mean elementary education generalist assessment without you know being prepared and that's just as for the math section obviously you have other sections that you're going to have to be um, uh, you know you know prepared for um, so well, listen uh, my thing is this you know I make these videos because you know if, if you discover you like my teaching style then I really have some uh, great preparation course for you and you know I kind of been there done there again been there done that excuse me um, I know what it's like to prepare for these exams they're not you know they require <laughs> you know a lot of effort but just imagine how great you're going to feel when you pass it okay you'll be like boom you got that and then you get passed and you get your your certification and then you're off to the races teaching so let's go and wrap up this video um, so if you like my teaching style hopefully you'll subscribe to my channel because I literally have hundreds of videos that can de on my channel now I've been on YouTube for many many years that can help you uh, prepare but if you want to check out my specific uh, test prep course um, I'm gonna leave the uh, link uh, to that course in the description of this video so you can check that out if you like and if you like the video definitely appreciate it thumbs up and leave me some feedback um, you know what you know what have you been doing so far to prepare for this exam are you taking this exam you know this is your second time okay maybe taking the exam or third time so just so you know maybe you don't know this if you you know this is your first attempt that many people candidates that go and take these certification exams don't make it the first time out so if this is your second time that's completely you know kind of normal for a lot of people um, I know the exam that I took was the praxis exam to teach at the high school level which had a lot of calculus and things like that I think the failure rate for that particular exam was like 50 60 percent so a lot of smart people you know have to take these exams more than once and you know maybe they failed the first time because it was just a bad test day you know or you know they were distracted you know whatever you know uh, um, obviously you're a professional 
you know what it's like to administer tests, uh, take tests, etc. So the my strategy is for myself personally is to over prepare, and I think that's a smart way to go for this particular exam. Over prepare so when you walk into that test, hopefully you can get it done in one shot. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your uh, education career. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.